you may be also the only running back to run for 10,000 yards who have starred in two Shakespeare festivals. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Othello has a great closing line asking people how to, how to describe him when mm. he's gone, uh, the, to describe him as he is and, and don't oh, uh, yes. extenuate. Soft, your word or two before you go. I have done the state some service and they know it, no more of that. When you relate these unlucky deeds, you relate, speak of me as I am, nothing extenuate, nor set down aught in malice. Then you must speak of one that loved, not wisely, but too well. That was it, yeah. 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 And the arts, man, the arts are, really was my saving grace uh, in the next phase of my life, being able to take my fears, my frustration, the doubt, uh, the bitterness that I did have and channel that into characters, into story, into writing, truly therapeutic. And I've been able to find my own voice uh, through that process. And doing Othello, taking a lot of uh, my own experiences, put it into that character, because you find, I found me within that role you know, and it was it was really, truly interesting. You know, like the Iagos of this world come in so many different forms. And uh, it was truly Othello's fault that he allowed Iago to turn his faith against himself. And that's the one thing that you learn, that you can't allow somebody to turn your faith against you. Trust your authentic voice. And by trusting your authentic voice, you can never go astray.